footwear for a sport or tires for your outdoor adventures there is one common factor we always consider it's the ground surface ranging from grass fields rocky hills snowy mountains to deserts surface matters now your choices might be confined to the earth but space agencies have to consider the ground surface of astronomical bodies for space explorations over the decades significant milestones have been achieved in space explorations with spacecrafts robots and crewed missions sent to the moon studying about the ground surface of moon is important for a wide range of lunar operations scientists geologists and engineers are building up simulated moon habitats on earth by producing lunar soil simulants with the locally available resources what is lunar soil the lunar soil or moon soil is technically called the lunar regolith due to the absence of a protective atmospheric shield time and again the moon surface has been struck with numerous meteorites and other particles that have cratered the moon surface this has formed a layer of debris called the regolith which basically is a mixture of fine dust and rock fragments the thickness of this regolith varies depending on the moon surface talking about the surface now when we see the moon it appears to have some light and dark colored areas well the dark areas called the maria or mare are the basaltic plains formed mainly during ancient volcanic eruptions on the other hand the light colored areas are the highlands and is regarded as the earliest crust on the moon however thanks to the indian mission chandrayaan 1 for providing evidences that these highlands were formed also due to the eruption of a hot liquid called magma the highlands make up for 83% of the moon's surface and according to the indian space agency most of the landing sites end up in these terrains hence studying the properties of highland lunar soil or regolith becomes even more significant especially due to the limited simulants available worldwide now the good news is that on may 18 2020 the indian patent office granted isro the patent for inventing a method to manufacture the highland lunar soil simulant The patent is valid for 20 years from the date of filing the application that's on May 15 2014. This was a collaborative invention of researchers from ISRO, Periyar University and NIT Trichy. They manufactured the lunar soil simulant from the anorthosite rocks found near Salem district in Tamil Nadu as they had similar properties to the anorthosite rocks found on the moon's highlands. Reports state that Isro's lunar soil simulant almost matches the Highland regolith samples from the Apollo mission. According to experts, there is a need for a bulk quantity of this Highland lunar soil simulant in order to create an artificial moon surface and test the smooth landing of lander and mobility of the rover. Importing the regolith simulant from the US would be expensive. and hence isro went on to invent its own method to manufacture it this method effectively replicates the lunar soil and is also cost effective the invention has also met all criteria with respect to mineralogy bulk chemistry grain size distribution and geomechanical properties the lunar soil simulant will be used for a wide range of scientific explorations from the study of lunar terrain for mobility of the rover to learning about the geotechnical and mechanical properties of lunar soil hope you like this video please do support us by sharing and subscribing to our channel